everyone and welcome to my After Effects tutorial. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to create some really nice flash effects inside of After Effects without using any third party plugins. So this video is going to be super for anyone who wants to do this sort of thing for the short films or YouTube montages. And I'm going to show you a way of basically keeping this thing super editable. So if you want to do this and change the intensity of your flashes and even the color of your flashes, you can do so without much trouble. So with that being said, awesome people, let's get started. Now before actually jumping into the tutorial, I would like you guys to learn and understand a simple expression term. Now this is called a math.sign and you just have to remember that math.sign is going to output a value that's going to be jumping between 1 and minus 1. It's always going to be in this range. It's never going to be more than 1. It's never going to be less than minus 1. So you can see the arrow is always going plus 1 down to minus 1 back up to plus 1. So you can see how I can multiply math.sign with any number I want. But again, the output is always going to be somewhere in this range. Now the best way to use math.sign is to multiply it with a forever increasing value. And here we have is a really good footage. I have trimmed up my composition. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new uh, solid. I'm going to call this flush. And I'm going to animate the opacity control. So uh, hit the T key for revealing the opacity parameter. Alt click on the stopwatch and we are in business. So. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to create a variable. Now, to explain variable in simple terms, you guys know how we use a pick whip and attach this to other stuff. Like for example, if I attach the pick whip to opacity, I get this line of code. I can basically just say that instead of using this line of code, this is equal to a small alphabet. So if I was to multiply this into you know a bigger number or divide this instead of using transformed opacity i can just say a divide by two okay instead of saying transform dot opacity that's a that's all that a variable does it basically shortens the line of code so i'm gonna create a variable here saying f equals math dot sign into time so you remember also people how i told you that we multiply math.sign with a forever increasing value to get this sort of an effect yeah so instead of creating a value that goes to 1 million it's a lot better to use time because time is always going to keep increasing you know as the cti goes ahead and it makes our work a lot easier now time is actually awesome people a very slow value so i'm going to multiply time say into 20. so if i play this nothing much is going to happen right now because you know because of math.sign the opacity is only going to be 0 and 1. That's it. It's only going to be that much. So you cannot see much of flashes. But using this expression, awesome people, I can combine it with an if else statement. So basically, this is what I'm going to type. If my condition saying f is lesser than 0, pass one result. And the one result is going to be 0, close bracket, else, pass a different result. So what I just did awesome people is I basically told off effects that math.sign expression term that creates a value between 1 and minus 1. So it goes from plus 1 down to minus 1, back up to plus 1, back down to minus 1 and that's it. So we have to multiply this with a forever increasing value. The best way to use math.sign is to multiply it with time. Now in this case time is going to be very slow. So we'll multiply that into 20. Okay. And using this variable or this expression term, we are using it with another expression term called if else statement. So we have basically stated that if f is lesser than 0, you should pass a, uh, you know, a result 1. That's going to be 0. So whenever f is lesser than 0, there should be no flash. And whenever f is more than 0, there should be a flash. So we know because of math.sign, half of the times f is going to be below zero it's going to be towards the minus one side and the rest half of the time is going to be more than zero it's going to be towards a plus one side so using this we have created the flash effect now i told you guys that i'm going to show you how to keep this thing editable if you want to ever increase your flashes you just have to increase the number over here so if i take this all the way up to 100 
another thousand thousand is going to be crazy if i take this all the way up to 100 you can see i'm getting some serious flashes but honestly awesome people i think that this is also kind of limiting because what if i was you know having a scene in my short film where the flashes should start slowly and then they should you know get faster so what you can do awesome people is that you can create a new adjustment layer i'm going to call this controller I'm going to take my slider control effect from my FX and presets, apply it to my controller and I can basically attach this value, this time into value to this effect right here. I'm going to select that much portion. I'm going to use my pick whip and attach it to the slider control. It's going to give me this big line of code. No worries. Just click outside and you should be good. So again, it should, it's, it's just basically saying that math.sign into time and instead of giving it one value, which would kind of limit us we are attaching it to a slider control so now we can animate this so i can have my flashes start with five i can move my way all the way up to a hundred so you can see how flashes are kind of slow and then they are getting faster make sense that is how we have created this flash effect now awesome people if you want to change the color of the flashes simply go to fx and presets type in fill Take it and drop it onto your flash effect and you can see how i've added a red fill to this i'm gonna get a red you know flash so uh, most of the times awesome people you would never really want to go with a color flash most of the time you just go for white or black that's it but you know you, you have this area of uh, you know experimenting for a music video maybe for a really funky video go for a purplish bluish reddish yellowish that kind of thing and experiment and see for yourself what exactly happens so this was my tutorial on how to create some really nice flash effects inside of After Effects using math.sign expression term and if else statement. Now, I, uh, you know, some of you guys may be pissed at me that why the hell didn't I explain if, else, uh, if and else statement? Well, if I was to explain that awesome people, the video would go very long and it would kind of become complicated for anyone over here who's not a hardcore After Effects user. So with that being said, I'm going to sign off now please, uh, awesome people please like this video uh, subscribe to my channel like my facebook page and if you did all that already you are awesome please do that so you can become awesome <laughs> and uh, i'll see you all next time take care everyone and thank you for watching